We identify as fam. Ah. <laughs> I can see the color. Our pronouns are L O L L M F A O. Ha 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 ha. So there are aspects of my life um, that I will never reveal um, that are between myself, my yes. family, and we became um, and who we God. are because of that past and that history. Mm. We became strong women mm. because we know who we are. Our fundis and all of that. I mean, I heard the, the audible voice of God. It wasn't the decision. On the bed, the oh, one. Decision. Yeah. Yeah. That one. Yeah. Like Christ Himself. What was that about? Yes. I don't even so know. So you can't know. just trust um, the person who was able to initiate a relationship with your husband knowingly and trust them with your life with your kid a fancy restaurant um in a beautiful place in south africa and he left you with love seven thousand foods babe he's not circumcised <laughs> <laughs> i meant our sex, our sex. I, mean, okay. I already do, do it yes will it marry what you say you're doing which is uh, the show is Engineer Your Life. I'm looking at KM, guys. Welcome. Um, we've got pop pops at the, yeah. what is what is it called? The show. Nobody knows what it's called actually. Road to one million. But, but we're already here. Yeah. So why is it called a road? Uh, my brother with the metric jacket blazer. Uh, this <laughs> one is popcorn and cheese, but hashtag road to one million at Sunbed. That's the name of the show. Road to one million at Sunbed. Yeah. Podcast and chill meets popcorn and cheese. Yo, what's going on, yeah. Nink? Yeah. Jens, thank you, man, for joining me and thank you for giving us your time. So, engineer your life. I'm, I'm from Durban. I'm Lungel, okay? Sorry to hear that. Yes. Ratidisa, 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 no. No, we have men I said who were taught to, to say sorry when you have to say sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Welcome. And 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 he's and he's doing well. Gents, how's been the journey on popcorn and cheese? Yo, Robito. Yeah. Uh, how has been the journey? The journey has been amazing. Uh, we're on episode twenty now. Started on episode one. Now we're on twenty. I'm going to Labavanya Abayazi wine. So for those that don't have Mets Mets certificates, we are accommodating the ones that have Mets lit. So from one to twenty. Zero to a hundred. Yo, good ningi la. Real quick. You know the funny story about popcorn and cheese. It yeah. was uh, like Trevor's book, Born a Crime. <laughs> what did you hear? Because we broke into, we broke into, we broke into podcast and chill studios. Yeah. 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 They, so we went to David Mashabala uh -huh. Studios, and we literally told Mac, we're like, yo, bro, we're gonna we're gonna break into the studio and record an app for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he was like, sharp. You know, man. And we, yeah. and we are. Yeah, <laughs> and then we're like, oh. The and then the, th the three of us were, were outside the parking lot. And we're like, are we going to do this? And we did it. Yeah. Literally, last year, December, we broke into David Mashabella Studios on the set of Podcast and Chill. And here we are, 20 apps later, at Road to One Million at Sunbet. Gents, how do you feel about joining at this later stage of the game in terms of the podcasting space via Podcast and Chill Network? Or do you feel like it's, it was the right time? Yeah, my man, it's never too late to start yeah. or too early to start. Yeah. You understand? You can become an athlete tomorrow. Yeah. You yeah, understand? Yeah, yeah. Actually, no, uh, no, no, the feet, the potris, bon. <laughs> potrisia Devin, right? It's a potrisia but they are Devin. Mm, no. <laughs> 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 With floods now, yo. The road is... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the, the journey has been... It's, it, I, don't think, I don't think because of how different we are, yeah. I don't think that we actually see uh, how, like, how far the other podcast is because we're just different. We just do our own thing. We are figuring things out that they've probably don't ha never had to figure out so i think that we're just doing our own thing and i, d I don't think we even understand that we at i don't think we understand how 20 episodes f feels like because it's so natural yeah if you are confused by what city is saying so are we as far <laughs> as the podcast as far as the podcast is concerned like it's just light-hearted humor and like next level energy Specifically for you, Mpo, bro, um, you, you are crossing over between traditional, conventional, commercial media to podcasting, which is digital. Yeah. What's, what's the difference for you and which, which are you enjoying more? You know, my brother, I'm a Yonkin Sipo kind of guy. Yawasha. Yawasha. You understand? <laughs> I think if you grew up like us, you'll know that a, a bar of uh, sunlight soap yeah. can be used to wash Face. yourself 
dishes, car, yeah. you can create it, yeah. you can do many things. Yeah, yeah. And I've always wanted to be like a, a sun sunlight bar of soap. I wanted to be that in Zippo that can go anywhere. So for me, honestly speaking, I've done everything. Under the sun. And, 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 and I'm, I'm going to continue to do everything because that's, that's the only way you grow. It's yeah, the only way you yeah, learn. Yeah. So I want to be that type. I remember when I started comedy, Chris Forrest once said to me, I need to be able to put you in front of any audience mm-hmm. and you must kill. Meaning it must be a white audience, black audience, international audience, local, vernac, doesn't matter where. And that's, that's the approach of, I'm sort of taking with, with entertainment is if we're going to do something dope, let's do something dope on the net. Let's do something dope on TV. It doesn't matter what the platform is, what the thing is. As long as we're doing dope-ish, I'm there. Almost like a musician when some people are so scared to switch genres because they're like, yo, I'm known for hip-hop. If I can't change to piano. Cooler. You're an artist. You're an Evolve. artist. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This thing of, uh, I don't think you can box us. Like, like now, I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah. What does Robert Boy do? Everything under the sun. Exactly. <laughs> you, you can't say robot. And is he's a, created everything. He's, so. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. A robot boy is an entertainer. He's an stop. entertainer. I he's get not that. a digital entertainer. He's not a dancer. He's not a singer. He's not a comedian. He's everything. You understand? Yeah. That's yeah, how we move. Yeah, yeah. It is confusing. That's it. Uh, is that his talent? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? No, and we, we are in the industry of humor, bro. Sure. Yeah, wherever there's humor, it's our industry. It doesn't matter where it is, whether it's, we're telling jokes on rocks or we're telling jokes on online. I don't think that anybody should... I think those classification things, it's, it's what's killing us. So we should just get away with classification. Just enjoy, just enjoy what somebody is, you know? And... It's nice to be in the industry. <laughs> we identify as fun. Ah. <laughs> I can see the color. Our pronouns are L O L, L M F A O, ha 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 ha. Me like me like everyone like rainbow. Lela, actually, kumpo. James, one more question. Um, one serious question, Gay, yeah, for, for 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 the culture because we need one. Okay. Um, what's your? <clears throat> what, what, is there a quote that you live by, and what is it? Jazz Imanati Kokas. Aha. Why Ningalali Makaya? Can you feel it? Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> At the end of a day, it's the beginning of another day. A D blow fun on say A D deep de fun on say. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's a call to come together. <laughs> and United we shall stand. Mm. Let, Let us live and strike for freedom in South Africa. Our name. Boom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, this love is genuine, good Lego, because that was incredible. Yeah, that was great. Like, the guys <laughs> that was great. crazy, right? Thank you to Mpo Pops, yeah. Robot Boy. Um, I'm so sorry, I didn't. At, at, see it, see it. Yeah. Well, so that means all of us. Are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, uh, now, of course, sure. <laughs> okay, I see. that means he has a career to build so that everyone knows him. Ne- uh, shout out to the guys. They're very funny, though, as well. They're very funny. It's, it's something different for me, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I could see. Like, I mean, I love humor, bro. I was bursting out laughing as they were talking as well. I think it's, it's, it's a, like, the question that you were asking them is actually very important. The idea that they're joining. So we're here uh, because uh, Podcast and Chill yeah. um, has reached... A million, a million subscribers, subscribers and they yeah. invited us uh, to come and chill um, yeah, with yeah. them and we're mingling with the people so sure. thank you to Max G, thank you to Sol sure. yeah, yeah, uh, thank yeah, you to yeah. Jason who was speaking with me and everyone else who were part of uh, inviting us here you know and you asked them very, something very important because I in terms of content creation I'm a huge advocate for people to be independent Sure. Um, the idea that they arrived at the podcast whilst they were already like at an advanced stage they had already built um, what they had built. Everyone had already known Meg G. Uh-huh. So how do you fit in the picture? Yeah. You know, it's a pity that we don't, didn't have much time. I wanted, to, I was curious to hear them, yeah. um, what their response was going to be, but it was like, because they are always lighthearted. Sure. It was lighthearted. It was never really a question that they took that seriously. But I think it's an important question that 
Um, how do you then join a podcast that already has its own fan base? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's established. Uh, the consumers have already signed up for a specific type of content. Yeah. So it's interesting. And they also have Dinero as well, who's bringing out something else that's different. Um, and there's Amatuke, you guys Amatuke, are telling me yeah, about those Osima, things. And and, Zile, yeah, yeah. So how do you then become integrated with a new... It's like a... A, a film franchise that's already on part 20 yeah, uh, yeah Fast yeah. and Furious all of a sudden introducing the idea of racing in boats instead of supercars you know how would the the the, 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 the fan base of Fast and Furious uh, you know re respond to that so you know maybe one day they will respond to it in a less light hearted manner you know what do you think about that I think I think definitely what, what, what what's happening there is that there's there's a certain threshold maybe if we'd use scientific methods to understand what the threshold is where you become so famous that it's you, you, within these 1 million subscribers it's not just only your core fans yeah. so there are people who are looking for other things within the network so by offering them a, a an ama 2k podcast maybe some person subscribed because there was a 2k who was being interviewed once to an 300 episodes ago and then all of a sudden when you create a podcast specifically for Amatu K this person finds that niche and is like oh my gosh I found my home within the network yeah. so I think because they have a big number of people quantity they are able to say okay Dinero will be watched by 50,000 people full of 500k that we do yeah. every week we are both, it's fine we will take Dinero only getting her 50k because it's Dinero on sex and, and mental health we are both. and so over I think time it, that audience over can time grow. that audience can grow because now we have the finances we have the liberty to experiment yeah yeah it's interesting um i was also curious about the idea of uh, money it's a pity that this the setting everyone is vibing and everyone is here just to enjoy music and and booze and all of that shit but i was even curious about the idea that okay now that you then welcomed into this family um what is, what are the financial implications of that given that if you were starting your own podcast for example as opposed to hopping on another one mm. what do you do do you then say on the specific episodes that are popcast and chill mm -hmm. is it popcorn and chill uh, popcorn and cheese Popcorn and chill, thank you. <laughs> so on those specific episodes, yeah. what happens then? Do you just do you isolate them and whatever money is made from AdSense, uh, you then take it away and give it, distribute to the people who are doing the show or... Are they on ask, salaries? Yeah, you ask uh, the, the boss to pay you. So I think that would have been another interesting um, one as well. And I bring this up because I always speak... Uh, assuming that there's like people who are interested in content that are listening. Oh, Kolego, there's no payments at all because, for example, let's say you're at Dinero and you are you have hiccups with your previous employer, which is a traditional media station. Yeah. So you realize that in this industry you have to remain relevant. And MacG is your friend, and you say, MacG, I need a show because I can't be off air. And being on a podcast means I remain on air as as unlimited inverted commas mm -hmm. so i'll come for free because me being on air on the podcast means i'm still getting my dj gigs i'm still a relevant person yeah that's i'm still an influencer i'm still commercially viable that's an interesting theory but yeah you have to now we're speculating anyways yeah. we don't know the facts around this we don't know whether or not the guys are being paid salaries and all of that mm -hmm. stuff but i've seen dinero do content uh, i don't know whether she was being helped by people around her and i've seen the stuff do 200,000 and 400,000 views. And I would imagine that that's sufficient for her to just um, have a team around the pay a videographer, pay a sound person, for example. But I'm, I'm saying again, like we're speculating. Yeah. So that's another option to, to accept zero by accept the exchange there would be that I'm in a platform where there's a lot of people that are watching yeah. and I then continue to be relevant. But I'm countering that by saying that I've seen her do her own thing. Like anyone who's on YouTube now watching us, they can just search on YouTube and they will see a video, just Dineo Ranaka, older videos like two years back. I thought yeah. at some point last year or two years back, I would see her do her own shows because I started seeing her um, I think it was a baby daddy series or whatever yeah, the yeah, case yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She like, did one episode where she she actually wanted to launch a podcast. Yeah, and yeah, I that's what I'm saying. Like, if, if the logic is that, I know that there's it's undeniable how big podcast and chill is. I'm just saying, like, if then there's no there's no financial benefit, you can then just like uh, Google Scott you can then just launch your own thing yeah. and 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 gamble on the idea that I'm starting from zero. Um, which is what a lot of creators have to start from and then make that money if you can make it within 12 months, meaning that you're investing 
on content, investing in the videographer, sound, lights, and everything else. So anyways, that's, that's an interesting question to pose to people who are in that uh, scenario. It's just that, of course, we never really got um, to ask those questions. You never really got to ask those yeah. questions. Um, because of the vibe, anyways, because no one is thinking about serious stuff as we are here. Sure. Um, how I think people underestimate how big 10,000 people are. Yes. I think yes. people underestimate that because I think we cross... Uh, it's like you, you, you're looking at your marks and you, you got 40 out of 100. And then you look at your mate, you see them getting 70 out of 100. And you think, okay, mine is not good enough because they're getting 70. But I think given that MacG got to a million subscribers, I think it's an interesting question to be asked about a lot of other content creators mm -hmm. how good enough is 10,000 yeah um, in your case you're doing engineer your life sometimes you get 5,000 sometimes you get 10,000 sometimes you get 100,000 people watching and the number of your subscriber count is, is at what 12,500 yeah exactly so that's a good number for someone who just did it on their own and started um, from the bottom yeah you know absolute and zero you, you can, you <laughs> and can, no no you, no no you don't nothing. have a career yeah. from radio TV yeah. um, to fall back on you know, so I think it's interesting that have you given it a thought that how big is a million subscribers? Like, we celebrating Mac G now, congratulating him for a million, a million subscribers. But yeah. another thing that's happening on the undercurrent here with this creation is that people are starting to underestimate the importance of having 10,000 human beings commit to watching you. True. And, 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 yes. and, and, and some people can stop podcasting because they did it I'm for six months. I'm not getting a million. Because yeah. I'm not getting a yeah. million. Yeah. Can you please speak on that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very important because I always say, even with, you, we were speaking earlier about how we respond to comments and you were saying it can distract you if you constantly read comments because something, 10,000 is already a lot. If you're going to read 400 comments on your post, would you wake up in the morning and have 400 people come into your bedroom yeah. and listen to their opinions at the same time, right? Right now, the Sunbed Arena accommodates 8,000 people. Why is that an achievement for MacG and Podcast and Chill, even though they have a million subscribers. It took them a bit of time to sell out this venue and get 8,000 people because now we're going to see physical humans take out their money and their resources. Yeah. We're going to spend time with them, exchange energies, and there'll be 8,000 of us in a room to just connect on a, for content. For digital content, how brilliant is that? So if we start understanding it with Lego at that level, then we will appreciate people who have 3,000 subscribers and we will say, keep going. Be consistent. Keep yeah. shooting. Because just because you have 3,000 subscribers, you can have a video that's on 50,000 views. Yeah. Don't worry. You can have a video that's on a half a million views with 3,000 subscribers. You, you don't know what the algorithm will respond to you when and how. Yeah, I think we conflate also. Just because we can be able to comp contrast and compare, for a very long time, shows on SAPC2 didn't know how well shows on SAPC1 were doing. Yes. And they, and, and they didn't know how, how well shows on SAPC3 were doing. Everyone was kind of minding their, their own business. Isitingo would win 13 awards in one night on the Safters. Yeah. B just because they were, they, were, they, were, they were being evaluated on the strength of their creativity, yes. right? On their strength of their story. And then at some point, the PRCSA starts reporting on numbers. Yes, yes. The Broadcast Research Council of South Africa yeah. starts reporting on numbers. And they start telling people that there are only a million people who are watching Isitingo on prime time on, at 6.30, right? And versus 7 million people who are watching Sam. Generations or, or Skim Sam. Sam. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And now we stopped evaluating the strength of the creativity and the strength of the story Power, of Isi Dingo Power. and then Kwaku News Ban of Isi Dingo. Like yeah. they said, close down because you can only amass a million people whereas in Dangazako on other channels, which is free to air, yeah. at the same time, they are amassing three, four, five times more than you are. Yeah. And then they have to can that show because it's not making money. Because now the metric, the main metric is these numbers. Absolutely. People are no longer looking at content quality. But when they didn't know the numbers, they... Yeah. they, they they bowed down to the creativity of Isitingo because yeah. all they were rated up or they were um, evaluated on was their creativity and sure. the strength of their stories and the strength of their writing and their script writing and the strength of their actors and the actresses. You know, so I say that to say, like, even with um, what we're doing uh, in, in content creation, justice has justify. You have engineer your life, and everyone, um, everything as a music. Uh, Ustef and Ria were doing everything as a music. There was no need, or there is no need for them to panic, or you to panic, or myself to panic when you have five thousand 
um, views on a video. Yeah. That's 5,000 human beings committing to watch. And it will tell you on average how many, how many minutes they watched. Mm -hmm. If on average people sat down to watch you for 10 minutes, I never have an episode that's less than 10 minutes on average yeah, in yeah, terms of yeah. watch time. It's yeah. usually 15, 30, yeah. 20, 25. And I'm happy that I can commit 10,000 people to sit and watch 25 minutes on those long form in videos. In a data expensive country, mind you. In Absolutely. a very data expensive country. Absolutely. Just, yeah. just speak on that as well, like the pressure of those numbers and how you approach them. I mean, the, the, the pressure is, is I, I, won't, I won't lie and say you, you, as a human, you can't ignore it because um, people like Mac G here who have invited us, thankfully, um, have created a template sort of yeah. to say that you can break boundaries with the numbers which we didn't know could be broken so you sit there here and then ask yourself Ogoti, how can i enter those levels of numbers what are they doing right what is the formula if there is a formula and you know what you'll live a life of peace if you just focus on the content yeah because if you think there is a formula then you haven't figured out that in life you can't you, you must let go of things you can't control yeah. There are things you can't control. And right now I understand that I can control my content. I can control how I speak, how I present myself. The small things that we can do, the technicalities, as you can say, in the title, the thumbnail, those I can do. But everything else, I can't change who I am. And if you're at peace with saying this is who I am, you, you'll be fine. Yeah. You'll be fine. Um, just last one on, again, 1 million subscribers, podcast and chill. I just want us to hop on the idea that because the... TikTok story. Talk about the TikTok story and the one million views and failing to commit your audience. Right. And, and com compare that with what's happening here. Perhaps the, the big comparison is long form video versus short form video. Long form videos captures your emotions. It makes you think, it makes you reflect, and it makes you take actions on the things that you heard about. Short form videos, it, it probably entertain you for your 30 seconds, that's seven seconds, and you do a bunch of these. Maybe if you're a content creator on TikTok who does these 10, 30 second videos every day for a good two years, you amass a million, a, a million I think it's called followers or likes on TikTok. You know. amass a million of them, yeah. but but then you try host something like this and you only get 20 people showing up. That speaks to the fact that as YouTubers, as creators on YouTube or podcasts, if you are consuming this on an audio version, you guys have people who emotionally connect to the things that you do and who see value in what they are learning and what they gain from it. And that's what I guess Podcast and Chill has done, especially because Podcast and Chill, their method was celebrities a lot at the beginning to amass an audience. The method was speak to celebrities, people who we've never heard what their life story is, how they've become who they are, what their pains are, what their journey is, and people emotionally connected to that. And that's why they where they are.